Research is important for our students in uh, a lot of different ways. One of the big ones is that it helps to make sure that students are familiar with, with what research is. It's, it's a bit of an ambiguous term and an ambiguous concept uh, for, for many people. And so by giving students hands-on experience being part of the process of reading research, of coming up with new ideas, finding where holes in understanding are, and, and then being involved in the process of systematically filling those, those gaps in understanding is, is, is really important for making them effective consumers of information and effective practitioners later down the line. We're essentially trying to answer research questions that are directly relevant to the day-to-day -day lives of coaches and athletes and practitioners and therapists and, and otherwise. In order to effectively be an evidence-based practitioner, you have to know what evidence is. You have to understand it. You have to understand why it's better than many other pieces of information. They learn how to be systematic in the way that they think. Their ability to read research uh, and communicate their understanding is uh, greatly improved. Students learn to improve their, their critical thinking skills as they take on different ideas, analyze them, they break them down, down. Students get the, the opportunity to work on their writing skills, their speaking skills. Um, every, every faculty member that works with undergrads here at, in the kinesiology department, we bring them to academic conferences, which means that they get to communicate with uh, other undergraduates, with graduate students, with other faculty members, communicating the, the stuff that they're doing, the stuff that they are discovering through the process of their, their research. In the kinesiology department, we've been very fortunate to have a lot of interest in the undergrad students to come and help out with our various research projects. So typically, myself and Dr. Beckham, uh, who helps me on all my research, we've had between five and six uh, undergraduates on almost every single project that we've run. So there's a lot of fun opportunities for them to apply what they've learned in the classroom. Uh, as we're doing here this evening, uh, some of them are helping actually coach our athletes, teaching them strength and conditioning, so preparing their bodies to perform well and keep them injury free. Uh, and then they help with a lot of the actual data collection itself. This is my first uh, semester working with Dr. Martin as an intern for the girls and boys rugby team, um, working as a strength and conditioning coach. I'm really excited about this opportunity because I am a coach myself for Aptos High School over in the Santa Cruz County um, for their competitive cheer teams. This is a great opportunity for me to learn how to coach a larger team in terms of strength and conditioning um, while still trying to individualize a program for each athlete themselves. This opportunity has been fantastic for me in an applicable sense, um, taking it into my professional career uh, as well as studying it here at CSUMB. The College of Health Sciences and Human Services at Cal State Monterey Bay. Helping people live longer, happier, and healthier lives.